What's going on guys? I'm doing my review for Miitopia for the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, this came out back in July of 2017. This works on all 3DS units. So original models, new 3DSs, 2DSs, you know, what have you. Works on all of them. Um, the game is basically a Japanese RPG. It's, it's mostly like a parody of Japanese RPGs as well as social sims. Uh, with your me characters so yeah the actual gameplay is very a lot of it is automated I'm just gonna warn you guys now the the actual gameplay you don't you're not exploring the world on your own you basically pick a level of a world map and your characters the me characters will basically walk along it like on rails um, and then they get into little situations on the way and then you run into monsters random encounters uh, battles your main character, you get to control exactly what they do, but you don't have direct control over your other party members. It is an interesting aspect, and you do have some indirect control based on certain things like um, how you pair up your different me characters in the hotels. Um, between each level, there is also so there basically there's a hotel between each level where you stay at. And that's where your me characters sleep for the night. That's where they regain their health. That's where you can um, uh, buy new equipment for them and feed them food, which will give them different stat boosts, things like that. So um, basically, um, you do have indirect control over your other me characters based on a lot of things like what equipment you give them, what personality you, you give them, because you can choose a personality. Uh, what class system, uh, what class they're part of. So, yeah. Um, the me characters themselves, you can choose from the me characters on your friends list and your me maker, uh, I believe in your street pass as well. And then there's also an in-game online uh, uh, me plaza sort of thing that you can pick from where people submit me's. Um, and yeah, so you can basically assign roles to several NPCs in the game like the king, the princess, um, certain townsfolk, things like that. And then you assign them also to your party members. So the Mies, when you assign them, you also give them a personality. And that personality deter determines some of their traits in battle. Um, like you have might have an energetic personality, you might have like a laid back personality, a cool personality. Cool personality can sometimes um, just kind of look away and dodge attacks. Uh, energetic can sometimes get a boost of energy and get extra attack power, things like that. Um, certain personality types clash as well, and uh, you also assign class types. You know things like warrior, mage, um, a chef. <laughs> you know, and you unlock more classes as you go along in the game too. And uh, eventually, you you unlock the ability to switch classes in the middle of the game with the different characters. So there's a lot of diversity here. Um, as far as how custom you can actually make your party. The actual story, the story isn't important. Um, the story is very nonsensical. You are basically on a quest to defeat the Dark Lord. And the Dark Lord, again, you can assign who the Dark Lord is. And the Dark Lord is this malevolent dark force that basically steals people's faces and puts them on monsters. And so that's all the monsters you're battling are monsters with people's other me's faces on them. So it's actually kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically the goal of the, um, of the of the game, and as you move along this journey, uh, you basically and are uncovering more and more of what the Dark Lord has done. But it's all real nonsensical, really comedic, uh, lots of lots of funny stuff. Um, if you if you've ever played Tomodachi Life, also on the 3DS, a lot of the social situations in there um, are very similar to what you what you'll find in here. So yep, yeah. um, the uh, the actual the actual levels themselves, like I said, they're very automated. You just run along a course. You can replay a lot of them, though, because a lot of them have branching paths. And a lot, of them, a lot of them encourage you to replay them to find those branching paths because you might find treasure chests with more gold or more items or food and things like that. So, yeah. Um, there's the, the charm of the game is if you're looking for a very deep Japanese RPG experience, you're not going to find too deep of an, a Japanese RPG experience. But... It is a lot more deeper than what a lot of people have made it out to be. It's not as simple as it looks on the surface, especially because you unlock more stuff as the game goes on. Um, but the fact that you 
don't have direct control of all your party members is a little bit of a letdown, but the game handles it well. However, not well enough because towards the end of the game, towards the end of the 30 plus hour campaign, um, it, it does start to drag a little bit. I put in about 37 hours into the game and that was kind of with, you know, taking my time, smelling the roses, doing extra quests and things like that. So um, I would say probably on average, it would be probably uh, 25 plus uh, if you're just going through the main quest. It is pretty lengthy, but it's it sort of overstays its welcome. Towards the end, I was getting a little bit uh, wore out of it just because it was getting a little bit much. Uh, the battle system doesn't offer enough diversity to basically hold you over for the whole, in my case, 30 plus hours. Uh, if the game was more or less like 15 to 20 hours, it might be a little bit more bearable. Uh, but that's not a bad thing because the battle system is, and it, like I said, it is, it is fun, and it's nice to see all the me characters interact and what situations they get into. But after a while, not having direct control of your teammates and only having direct control of your actual main me character, um, it's most of the game you're basically just pressing the one button to fast forward through stuff. So um, after like I said, it gets a little repetitive after a while. Uh, the music is amazing. The music, there's a lot of really quirky tunes in there, as well as a lot of really epic tunes you wouldn't think. Uh, a lot of the battling tunes um, are actually really cool. The Dark Lord has a really cool epic theme um, you wouldn't think is in a game like this. <laughs> um, the actual, there's uh, tons of other stuff to do as well. There's actual achievements to unlock. Uh, the game encourages you to, uh, tr to find all the different monsters, find all the different foods, um, go through all the levels, you know, go master every class. So for 100%ing, there's a lot to do. This 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 could this pretty much is like a 50 plus hour game if you're going for 100%. Um, so yeah, there is a lot to do here. So um, and and it's just it's just whether it holds your interest or not, you know. But that's all up to you, the player. So all in all, the game is enjoyable, but it did overstay its welcome, and it does get repetitive repetitive after a while. Um, as far as the actual playability of it, like I said, it controls well. Uh, there's no no graphical glitches, no no uh, slowdowns, frame rate was good. The 3D is actually pretty beautiful in spots on this. Um, so yeah, um, all in all, I'd pretty much give this game uh, about a 7.5 out of 10. So I would definitely um, recommend it if you're a fan of the Miis and if you're a fan of just quirky, you know, um, and, you know, quirky adventure type games. And uh, if you, like I said, if you like the Miis, you're going to enjoy it. And if you like JRPGs, but you but you like all kinds of JRPGs, you'll like this. If you're one who likes very complex RPGs, you're not going to find a lot of complexity here. But there is a lot to keep you busy for a while. So definitely, definitely, I'd say check it out. Check it out. Uh, there are demos on the eShop, so if you're not sure about buying it or so, you know, because it is, it is $39.99, so if you're not sure about dropping the 40 bones on it, definitely go on the eShop and check out the demo. So anyways, guys, hope this was informative for you. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you later.